guys welcome back to the vlog so today or this vlog is going to be a mixture of a little bit of revolve but mainly montecito we're just going for a little staycay business trip relaxation trip i don't even know um but the first stop would be here at revolve i'm at the social club i am filming some festival looks and my theme is street girl or like cool girl which i'm like yes love so i got some or put together some looks yesterday and we're gonna film a video today so i'm gonna show you guys what looks i put together this is the fit that i wore so you guys saw this in my packing vlog but it is the set active set this is actually on sale when i went to go link it which i'm kind of mad because i just bought it before um it is on sale they have bike shorts too i don't think this one is on sale though but yeah everything else is all right so these are the looks that i put together pretty much revolve revolve forward revolve and then we have the meow top so it's like a corset in the front it is stunning and then just some silver hoops with some free people x revolve pants and then this is also their chain it was from the alia collection last summer also from <laughs> and then this little bag i'm gonna wear it with both because they match and then we have meter all top um lamarck bralette so initially this was the fit but then i almost kind of liked this whole layering moment because i know layers are really in so we're gonna try it on and see if they like with some camos and then my orange laser dunks so these are gonna be the three looks this is our setup for today this is chloe hi <laughs> she's gonna be healthy <laughs> Oh, wow, this is super cool. I'm stoked, guys. So I'll be coming in and out of that dressing room. And yeah. Sister, give me a reason to get out my mind, please. I've been so lost that I can't even find me. Sister, give me a reason to get out my mind, please. I've been so lost that I can't even find me. Better days, better days, hard to hold them. Don't let them get away. Or they'll be lost before you know them. So I meet you for the first time since he died. Like 15 years, been a long time. Not see love in a place, so easy to know it. Remember back when he used to watch me? And he was sick and downstairs, he was dying. Get me movies that I shouldn't be watching. So I could watch that instead of everything that make me feel bad. Remember when he passed, you told me all things pass, even not then. It's like 15 years, been a long time. Say you glad I'm here, like ain't a day pass. Made a home cooked meal so I could watch that instead of everything that make me feel bad. I told you I've been angry for a minute. Can't sit here knowing everything from my way back to forgiveness. Did you ever settle down? How'd you figure out your business? I swear you looking better now, like 15 years, been a long time. But it feel like in a day gone by And I'm all I've stage And I wanna change mine You say you wouldn't change yours And I've always wondered why Yeah, like, you so good You don't deserve it Like, how can you figure out That anything get better after that Like in the same shoes Tap out But you still here with a smile Right across me with a purple napkin Ask me if purple's still my favorite color. I said, yeah. He said, that's the one that's my favorite brother. And I laughed because that's dad's favorite color. And you cried when you told me the poem you heard before he died. Yeah, 15 years really been a long time. Yeah, 15 years really been a long time. To know my eldest brother before he passed away. Got six or six, two brothers left, but still feel cast away. Ahab, on a quest to get the whale killed. Think we know how that ends. And on the real, I'm more prone to a back, man. 
Got sorries for my sorry Scott Worries that I probably shouldn't have at 27 Like, is this the end or is that a question They've been asking since the dawn of stupid questions Like, what makes a good man good And a bad man bad When everything is all subjective Are we products of environment And if we are, is that enough to validate all of my lessons Hella time, I've been wasted on this chessboard Like, boy, you need to move Or that clock is gonna get you Before that tick-tock tick Can you tell me another story About the life you got to live Tell me more about it, Dad How you learned how to forgive How you never needed All right, guys, we just finished up I am so excited to see The end results of the video Obviously, I don't know if I'll They'll have it in time By the time this goes live Probably not but I'll post it to at least my Instagram or something. But yeah, all right, now we are headed to Montecito. We had to make a quick stop at Yonda's because I had stayed here with Revolve for that weekender. And then afterwards, when I was placing more orders, I was like, where are they? They weren't coming in. I kept sending them to the freaking hotel because I forgot to change my address and I totally forgot. So I just picked up three boxes. Love that for us. Okay, now we are on the way. We're grabbing some lunch right now at the bar. <laughs> She's just the happiest girl. She's so happy. Look at that smile. I'm on vacation with mom and dad. <laughs> so funny. But we got the ceviche. Tyler got some pork tacos. Yum. Why, do you, why does she do that? <laughs> Nolly, what are you doing? Oh, she got it. Oh, are you? No, you don't. She wants to fight her. What? I don't understand why she does this. <laughs> Give her her kibbles. Oh, you weirdo. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> what are you doing, weirdo? Our room. It is so gorgeous, you guys. Wow, look at the bathroom. So big. Have a shower. I presume that's the toilet. Vanity. Whole closet area. Thank you. See, a hotel that understands makeup lighting oh it's actually really good lighting too wow whole full body mirror again thank you a hotel that understands and then this is nice. we have our room we have nolly sniffing around are you getting acquainted with your space mama it's so cute i love the cute little beach style bungalow. And then, wow. So you guys, this actually was not our initial room. So we booked online. Let me go back in. We'll go back inside, do a story time. All right, so initially we just booked the cheapest room. I really, really wanted a beach balcony but i was like oh it is a lot for sure so i was just praying and i was hoping and i just had this gut feeling i was like i think we'll be able to like an upgrade is going to happen i just i just knew it so this morning i kept praying and i was like okay like god is gonna bless us god is gonna bless us so we get here and I mean, staff is so, so nice. And, you know, I'm always super extra nice to hotel staff because I feel like, especially with nicer, you know, resorts, sometimes people can just be, 
a little mean or I don't know, just kind of act like a certain way sometimes. So I always make sure to be extra, extra friendly and extra, extra nice. And yeah, they pretty much gave us an upgrade to this room and it is just like, I just, God is good. We're just gonna say that God is so, so, so good. So initially I was just like, oh, I'll even take like an upstairs. I don't even need the beach access, like whatever. We literally have this huge balcony and I'm like, cool, now we can just lay out on our balcony. We don't have to go to the pool. So the other thing about the pool is like Nolly obviously likes to walk around. She likes to sunbathe too, but the thing with the pool is because she's blind, she can't see, she'll fall in. And she's done that many times. Um, so we were kind of like, oh, it'd just be nice. We can just have a balcony. So like, we don't have to worry about Nolly. We have a balcony now. So that's our little story about our amazing upgrade. Thank you, Jesus. You are absolutely amazing. Um, so we're just going to hang out right now, I guess. Um, I might get some work done. And we just had some lunch before this while they were prepping the room. So that's kind of like the footage. But I think tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up a little bit earlier. We'll probably do a beach walk. And then I'll show you guys more of the property. It's so stunning and yeah so obviously we feel so blessed to be here but nothing makes me happier and nothing on this trip will be better than the fact that we were able to bring nolly and she is just so at peace being with us and she's able to enjoy this literally we love her so much and she's the best and she deserves all of the vacation smell Oh my goodness, I love her. The sun is about to set. We laid out for a little bit, just on our balcony right here. And then we took a couple Zoom calls with our Modair team, but guys, look at, look at all these dogs, just loving life. I, there's nothing that I would love more than just lay down right there and have them all run and lick me. I love dogs, dogs are the best. We decided to order room service instead of going to a restaurant. Ow, that is so hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's mine. It is the Buddha bowl. And then what else? Are these my French fries? Oh yes, they are. Yeah, be careful. Take, uh, move my fries if anything, and then use that to grab. Cause she hot. Ooh. Oh, you got fries too? Yeah, it comes with fries. Oh, okay. And then we got some burger fixins. You, um... This is your cheesecake? What is in the middle? Mm -hmm. huh. All right, and then all of our condiments. Okay, we can pray. So I took some photos in my black dress, yes. But we were like, we're kind of lazy, too lazy to go to dinner. So we decided to No, but I didn't, so noisy. But I also didn't really feel like going out to one of the restaurants. Um, but tomorrow morning i'll show you guys the property better it's dark right now so it's hard to see but we just kind of took a lap around um saw other parts saw another pool bocce court and there's this entire like stunning little walkway area where all the bungalows are oh my god it is so cute you guys and yeah it was beautiful so we're gonna i'll show you guys that tomorrow morning we want to do like a beach walk what is your take 
on this versus Amangiri, since they're like similar price, like completely different buy. I know, but which one would you be more apt to come back to sooner? Well, it's easier to come back here, but so far. I really like you, huh? I feel like there's so more to cool. do here. Well, there's definitely more to do. Like, Almangiri, it's stunning. You can walk around, but, like, everything's concrete, and there's not really places to just sit and also hang. also in Santa Barbara here, so you can go to the Well, stadium. I know, but, like, I wouldn't even leave. Like, I would just want to... I have everything I need here, you know? Yeah. And it's like, you have your restaurants, you have your shopping, you have, like, little activities, you have a bunch of bars... Mm -hmm. Like you have the beach like I just feel like there's so much more here and even if Amangiri and Rose or Rosewood Were the same distance. I would actually still prefer this. Really? Yeah oh. I think too because I'm just such a beach girl like I love hearing the crashing waves and like You know, I mean don't get me wrong. I'm Yuri's I really think it's just preference. Yeah, I mean it is. That's very true. There's no well, you know what, though? No. Hold we on. didn't. No, I think because we didn't go to the other Amagiri property. You know how there's another restaurant and another no, pool? So maybe we did that, then it would be like, okay, but. Mm, no, because. Yeah, I get the whole wave thing and stuff because I like that too, but even, uh. Like, at Amagiri, you could hear a pen drop. Two blocks away. That's how quiet it is there, though. Yeah, that's true. If you Here, want... it's noisy, peaceful. It's a nice, yeah. noise, peaceful. Yeah. Noise, you know? It's not, it's not bad. I'm in Gary. There's zero noise. Zero noise. Okay. You know what, though? I also, what I loved about I'm in Gary was nighttime. Mm -hmm. I love the daytime, but the nighttime, you have your fire pit, and, you know, you can order whatever mm -hmm. and you have the stars and yeah it truly just hearing the wind like against the mountains so all right that's an Definitely experience preference. you don't yeah. get that many places that is very true so yeah but i don't know i would still love to come back here like soon yeah. i want to bring my parents back here too oh. my parents would love this i'd be so like relaxed <laughs> My mom would really like this. Oh, yeah. But so hot. Hmm. So they have, like, this little pamphlet that says spring break, a series of family-friendly festivities. So obviously it's spring break, so maybe there's more families, more kids and stuff. But, like, there's movie night by the Manor Pool. Falconry hour. Oh, so you. What? Hawks. You can like learn about hawks. They have magicians, stars and s'mores. I mean, Jerry had similar things too. Yeah. Paint class on the beach. Oh, how cute. That's pretty cool. Um, kids beach boot camp. Make your own ice cream sundae. So, those are all complimentary. Oh, these are complimentary activities. Oh, darn, we'll be here for Friday. Oh. And then they have add-on activities, so you can do, like, child care services. So, <laughs> just, you know, send your kids off and you can go get a massage or something. Kids mani-pedi, beach horseback riding, trip to the zoo, paddle boarding. So, there's a bunch of really fun stuff that they do for you as well. Yeah. It's a good place. It is. It's funny because... Two years ago, we went to Santa Barbara for my dad's birthday, and I didn't even know. I actually had tagged this hotel. I guess we passed it on the way, and I was like, gosh, I really want to stay there. I'm going to make it a goal to stay there. And literally, two years and one month, we're here. So, love that. It's kind of like a bookmark. Like, it's no, not a bookmark, a... Milestone? Milestone kind of, what is that term called? Not a bookmark, right? Mark, I don't know. Anyways. Trademark? No, not trademark. How's your burger? Sure it enough. looks really good. Okay, well, we're going to finish.
good. See you later. Hmm. Oh, there it comes. Another one. Sneeze. Do it for the camera. <laughs> it's like a half sushi I do. <laughs> she said no. I don't want no. to. We don't want to sneeze. Oh, good morning. It was sunny and nice earlier, but it is super, super foggy right now. So we are going to go on a little morning walk right now on the beach. And then, I don't know, maybe work out. Maybe get breakfast. We have no agenda. My athletic greens for the morning. They come in travel packets, so they were collagen packets. They only come in pure, which is like life, the one we take, but in diet form. Tyler! Shh! Talkie! Tyler, can you? I'm literally recording right now. So annoying. Um, but I feel like we should petition them to make these in the live version because they are tastier. These really aren't that bad though. I'm just being picky. Whoops. So for my athletic greens, usually I'll have some ice in it too, but I don't know where to get ice right now. Oh my goodness. Is it pure? Yeah. It only, it only comes in pure. I've never had pure. Oh. Well, since you're super extra picky, I don't know. What's like pure it. taste like? It's it's just like, well, I don't even know how to explain it. Doesn't it's, taste like life? No, because it doesn't have the sugars or the carbs. It's better when it's cold, but... It's not pretty bad. good. It's not bad. Yeah. Would, it's well, definitely different. It tastes more like a... It kind of tastes like a tangerine. I guess. Guys, I can't function right now. What's wrong Look at the mess I have made. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she was an I got. She was an island Tyler's obsessed with those island boys. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You just have that song stuck in my head. You've been singing it all morning. I have not been singing it all morning. Yes, you, you don't have to lie. I'm not lying. You're lying to the camera. I'm not lying to the camera. You're lying to make get laughs on the camera. I'm not getting any laughs. That person's laughing. That person's laughing. That person's laughing. Because they think I'm obsessed with the island boys. You are. I'm not. Yeah, you are. But today. These lyrics are insane, too. Wait, that's like their actual song? Yeah, look. That's the only song. He's a boss fan, too, so we're homies. Alright, we're done here. <laughs> the fog. It's thick, y'all. Literally, you can barely see anything. But that's fine. Hello, dear. You are so cute. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi, buddy. How are you? Want to play with us? You want to play with us? You want to play with us? I don't know if you guys can see, but this is kind of what we want to do with our outdoor dining. We want to do a nice pergola. It'll, we'll probably mix a little bit of stone and different material, but we really want to grow all that greenery so that it covers the top. This is another one for obvious reasons. I'm just so drawn to the arched windows. They're so gorgeous. I love and the landscaping too. It's very much just our vibe. We do also absolutely love the palm tree vibe. This is just so
so tropical, I feel like. But we already are incorporating a lot of palm walls just so I can get content, but also just gives it vacay vibes, you know? So that's definitely another inspo. And last but not least, before we get to the hotel, this one, again, love kind of Spanish elements, love the palms. So we have a similar roof as well. It's so gorgeous. We came back to pick up the baby. Now this is much better for me to show you guys the property. So we have a pool over here. It's really cute. It has yellow umbrellas. This should be a cool wedding venue. And then this is the main area where you check in. The shops are here. Whole nice lawn. There's another pool over there. And then our hotel rooms are down there. Those are like the beach ones. And then this, that over there after the railroad tracks is a beach bar. And I'll show you guys that later. This is what we have for breakfast at the Reverie Room. Really cute. I love all the umbrellas. So this is right off of that main lobby where we were just walking up to also. Hello, hi, this is, it reminds me of the drapery we had at our wedding. It's so pretty, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Needle Girl is doing just fine. Can I decide on which? I'm making a mess this whole, this entire trip. <laughs> I got the, shoot, I forget, but it's quinoa, eggs, and spinach, goat cheese, and mushrooms. So I got some waffles, eggs, potatoes, sausage, and yeah. So this is our breakfast. All right, just finished breakfast. So continuing the tour, another garden in here. So now we are to the left of where we were eating. This is another bar. And then behind this hedge is another pool, I believe. It is such a stunning day. We really couldn't have picked a better time to come. Then we have some bocce ball courts. More outdoor area. This is still part of that bar, I believe. Then they do the s'mores and the fire pits over there. And then we have the gym. It's actually huge. We'll show you guys inside later because there's people working out. I don't want to look like a creep. <laughs> and then this area is the bungalows and where they start. So, wow, I didn't even realize you have outdoor equipment. That's amazing. Such the vibe. All right, I'm gonna record when we get a little bit closer into the garden area, because right now this is gonna be a little repetitive, but just bungalow style homes or rooms. I think some of them can fit up to like 
four different guests and then you just have more living lounging areas. It just gets better and better by every turn. So I believe these are more just rooms, I think. We were trying to look inside last night because some of the windows were open and the lights were on. No one was inside, of course, but they're really, really pretty. Another garden, one of them I was telling you about. Like just ugh, imagine just having a family and just laying out on the grass here. Absolutely stunning. And then these are more of the garden bungalows. So right up there, you're pretty much getting back to the gym area and when we first started. Now we are going back to towards the water. So that is the beach bar. Our hotel room is a little bit further down. So you actually have to, hi. Morning. Good. So you have to cross this railroad track and it is full blown operating like for sure. So that's kind of the wild part. Oops. Oh, I got it. Thank you. There, but yesterday before we came and our room was ready, we just went to this little beach bar and it's super nice the food was really yummy and yeah now we're just going back down here is the rooms and then this building straight ahead i believe is like another club like loungy drink bar area and this opening where this umbrella is is a direct access and walking point to the beach so there it is in all its glory absolutely stunning we came to the beach relaxing time now nolly's loving life this here sir is trying to get a tan Pretty much the only ones out here right now, which is actually really nice. I'm not mad about it at all. And our room is this one, so. Absolutely the best views ever. This is my swimsuit. It is old Revolve to the Rosa brand. But really cute, really fringy. The only thing is that when I lay out, I have to make sure that all of the ties are all bunched together, so. I don't have a bunch of crisscrosses on my stomach. Alrighty, so we pretty much just laid in bed. I worked a little bit. And now we're getting ready for dinner. We're gonna eat at Caruso's, which is literally just. I think I'm having wine tonight. Over, I mean, it's Italian, so might as well. But, anyways, yeah. here's the fits. I think this is my favorite outfit of the entire trip. Um, so the only elegant, pants. Yeah. Orange shoes, which we actually did not match. Orange shoes. <laughs> and then a Lamarck leather top that's, ooh, kind of ripping already. Nice top. I don't know. It's on sale though. Um, Zara oversized jacket. My, I don't know what brand these are. Who? Lou Goldie. Lou Goldie sunglasses, also revolved. So cute. I bought these like for festival, but I feel like this is perfect for summer. Mm. You know, it's just like that. Mm -hmm. hippie 90s vibe 70s vibe 90s vibe mm -hmm. and then for purse i have my teen suede jody because i feel like kind of just ties everything in together your turn all right so from top to bottom these are spy discord law enforcement gets discount so i got these and they're fully polarized they're amazing my top is from zara my jeans are abercrombie and Jumbo Swoosh Nike Low Top Blazers. Boom. Boom. The Caruso's is right under that beach bar. And just at that white gate is literally our room.
How funny. I had a feeling we were going to sit here in our room. It's right there. We're like, we're going to walk there just to walk all the way back. Initially. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Initially, we were leaving her in her room, but Tyler went back to grab his sunglasses and heard Nolly just howling, like crying in the room. So we brought her. You are not the queen of the table, honey. Mm -mm. There you go. I totally forgot to show you guys our first course. I'm so bad. It was so good. I got octopus. He got halibut. Stunning in the mouth. Stunning in the mouth. Also, I'm going to show you guys the sunset right now because it's also stunning. Stunning in the eyes. Wow. Do you know what I'm putting? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Yes. However, mark my words, this is the best focaccia bread you will ever eat in your entire life. We haven't even tried the sourdough yet because we've been just loving this so much. It is so good. For one of the mains, we have a bolognese. This one is, does not have dairy in it. Tyler also got the bolognese, but that- This one has dairy in it. All the dairy. Dairy boy. <laughs> not it's not for me, it is for you. Yes. Hello lady. Oh. Is it nice? They use like a cashew sauce. Wait. Did I just order the bolognese? I don't think I ordered the bolognese. You're done here. <laughs> and then for our third course, I got duck with not kumquat. What, what kind of quat is it? I forgot what kind of quat. But it was another it's type like of quat. No. And you, what, you got the cod? Yeah. Black Yum. Cod. Um, uh, Go ahead. Ready? Yes. Oh, yeah. <gasps> because uh, that is a coffee julep. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Okay, there you go. Julie, <laughs> with the mascarpone and coffee uh, gelato right inside of it. Yeah. Along with the, uh, the cocoa powder sugar around it. Amazing. Yes, enjoy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, yes. So Yay. Thank you. Thank you. And then this is my little coconut sorbet. We decided to order room service this morning. Room oh service. my gosh. The infamous eggs. Can you guys see this? Those aren't eggs. That's, I mean, I mean the potatoes. potatoes. Oh, those are some of the best potatoes I've so ever had. I have ever, ever, ever had. I'm gonna taste your juice to make sure it tastes correct, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Is that cool? Yeah. I just want to make sure there's nothing bad in it. Oh, thanks so much. Mm, that tastes good. I think I'll be just fine with that. I got a beet and carrot juice. I love beet carrot ginger juice because it's just such a good flusher and deep. What is this? Oh, it's fine. Such a good flush and detox. And I always, always, it's one of my go-tos for vacay. Steel cut oats, a random arugula salad that we did not order. My red beet juice, taters, omelet, and a hose bin. And Tyler. Tyler. Right. Since putting, you're breaking bread. I'm putting sugar on my thingy. Dear Lord, thank you for this meal and this amazing trip. Bless our time together today and our travels back home. In Jesus' name. Oh, bless the angels and the Dodgers this season. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless go, baby. And we'll be a bike. Don't do that. <laughs> Okay, so this trip, I feel like, I feel like the older we get, the more when I go to a resort or like a nicer hotel, I don't want to leave the grounds. Like I like just... Agreed. You know what I mean? I feel like before when we were younger... Like you want to go do a like, bunch of stuff. Like a hotel is simply where you rest. Stay. But then as soon as you wake up, you're like, go, we got to go this, we're going to drive here. No, and I, thing. not once, I don't, but like, the vibe. is it because we never looked into... Well, I think like, it's a resort, an actual resort. So I think if we were staying at the Best Western, no offense to anyone staying at the Best Western, 
I'm just saying. Like, you're just saying the general idea concept of like there's nothing there. It's just a different mm -hmm. yeah. I've never really I, done that before, but now I feel like it's, it's just it takes a lot of stress off of your shoulders because we're thinking like, okay, I think you have the pool, you have the beach, you have like several different restaurants, you have several different bars. There's like even just on the premise, there's a different change of scenery like you have the beach here and then you go and you walk in and you have the bungalows and like you can just lay out on the grass and like i don't know it's just there's i don't know it's just you know you know yeah. I, say I just think that the resort is made so that we don't have to leave though no i don't think it was meant for this if they're spending or if they're creating a resort to be like this, like when you get in and you start experiencing, you know. Are we late to the game on this whole thing though? Probably, because. I, mean, I feel like people are watching this and they're like, like yeah. we've been doing this for a whole life and we're, we're just like, resorts. <laughs> but when yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm watching this, never stay at a resort. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. I've never, honestly, I never really stay at resorts. Like, I only just stay at hotels. Same. You know? Yeah. We definitely want to bring my parents back. I feel like my parents would love this. My mom. And your mom. My mom would go for this. Oh my god, yeah. She would cry, like, at how amazing this is. Yeah. I'm cool. I have to give her a trip here. Honestly. We do, like, a family vacay here. Be fun. Too bad they don't. I think the most that any of the places sleeps is four. Too bad they don't do like six or eight. That would be really cool. Yeah, but you can get, I mean, places right next to each other and make it seem like we're right yeah. there anyways. I don't think anybody's, any of us want to be in the same room together for room. that long. That yeah. is very true. Love that. Love fam, but even my own parents, sometimes I'm like, look, I love you guys, but I just... Well, I need my own space Even to sleep. Even when we call your mom and dad, <laughs> things are going to want their own room. No. For sure. I think they should. Oh, let me make sure this juice is still good. Oh my god. Yeah, it's still good. Thank you. Would you like to keep testing it out for me every five minutes? Oh, that is really good. I told you it was good. But these potatoes? Stunning. Let. Stop! You can't test those. <laughs> I can't test these? You know I to. Mmm. Yeah, we established last night. This is probably our favorite hotel resort place we've ever stayed at. We talked to some friends and they also said that this is literally their favorite place. Like within the state, within the country, like they just love it, love it, love it here. So yeah, we definitely want to make this one it's of Super our... easy to get to. Yeah. It's super convenient. As far as like location, it's not too far, so. Nope. Um, I mean, we talked about the other night where, like, Em and Gary or this, but like, there are two completely different vibes, but. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is more us in the sense of. Em and Gary is vibe. more so like if you literally want to unplug completely, and it's like a very. Um, it's a resort based on a lot of wellness. You know what I mean? It's very zen. It's very quiet. Like, mm. and so I. That's a good way of putting it. Right? A lot of zen. Yeah. So. There's zen here. There's zen here. But it's based on your experience of zen. Right. And also too, we came on a weekday, and it's actually really empty here, so we don't know what this sounds like or is when it's 
at capacity. If Amigiri was at capacity and we still never saw people. It's, but, which is nice though. No, too. which is great. I love that. I was we like, love Amigiri. So That's not a, it's not a but scene I wonder, that we don't, like, we'll never want to go like how back noisy for. it is going to be here in the summer at its peak. I'm sure it's going to be a lot busier though. Um. But I mean, I don't, I wouldn't mind it. I just. No, well, we were talking about it. It's just not the place where it's not like a, you know, if you're going to go to Vegas, you know what you're going to get. Does that make sense? You said Vegas and Nolly went like this. Nolly wants to go to Vegas. You want to go to Vegas, You want to go to the win again, Nolly? <laughs> you like the win. Um, but yeah, you know what you're going to get when you go to Vegas. Because it's like, yeah, we're going to go, we're going to go eat, we're going to go do some drinking and people are going to want to be him. You know, out here, it doesn't really seem that way at all. No. It seems very, like, just chill. Everyone's here. To not, no one's here to get crazy out of their mind, like, spring break, like, MTV style. Like, it's not like that. It's just, here, it's just like, hey, man, it's a still resort, still a nice place. Everyone's cool here. Yeah, so, anyways. Oh. I'm going to do also, too, with being an entrepreneur, having your own business and stuff, like, I can write this whole trip off because of what I do, and I'm shooting content, and I'm working, and I'm doing things, and so that's another thing, too, where I sometimes I feel not, like, guilty, but I'm like, oh, you know, like, people are like, oh, how how can they go there or do this or whatever? But like, you just gotta be smart in how you're doing your business, how you're running your business, how you're filing your taxes and stuff. So that's like another like little tip. Yeah, but that's not everyone's really business at the end of the day. No, wait, no but I'm just side. saying for like people who want to do that kind of stuff, who want to be entrepreneurs, who want to do blogging, who want to do this, like this is all a write-off, you know? So it's just kind of like working smart. Like in the same sense of, I don't know the specifics for this, but when you, there's that rule of if your car is over 6,000 pounds, it's a write-off for your business. I forget, but you have to purchase it, but I forget like the terms of the specific terms or like how much you're writing off or whatever, but I know like for sure, like that is a business right. You can, you can Google it. So there's so many things and ways you can work around. And at first I always just thought like, oh, people who made a lot of money or who are wealthy, like they just like to spend money and blah, blah, blah. No, like I'm now seeing it as like, they're be just being smart with their spending because they're making it work for their lifestyle and taxes. And like, they're just, it's it's just being works, smart with your, with work your money, smarter, yeah. not harder. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, it's, it's really changed like just my perspective, my view and like how I go about my day and like work now and how we plan out things. So yeah, I'm not here to be a gatekeeper. I'm not here to be like, I can do and be here and go the, to these places and you guys can, like you guys 100% can. Just gotta think hard. So I'm really full. Sucks. Are we gonna I'm go not. on a beach walk after this? This is us saying au revoir, see you later, we will see you soon, we're closing out the vlog, this was such a nice relaxing, I feel like we needed this, Yeah. It was, and Nolly really really needed this because she's such a queen, so yeah, so tonight we're actually going to go to Angel's home opener, Tyler's first time, yep, first time ever at a home opener song, uh -uh. If you guys knew or didn't know, I used to work for the Dodgers, so I've done a couple home openers, and there's truly nothing like opening day. Of course, postseason is great, but I feel like home, just the home opener, it's it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, well, we're gonna wait for our bar bar cart bar help bar bellhop <laughs> to come, but. We'll see you guys next time.